Okay, so for this lesson we want to start thinking about how we can get the computer to play against us. So we're going to kind of make a, a very simple AI for our tic-tac-toe game. So what we have so far is basically you're kind of playing against you know another human in theory. So, uh, oops, how did it block me? Uh, three and four, oops, and now let's go ahead and win this. So X wins, would you like to play again, yes or no? Um, so no. So there we have two humans playing against each other. So what we want to do is we want to change it so that the computer plays O, we'll say in this case, make it, make it simple. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new class method, and we're going to call it, oh, let's put it down here at the bottom. So define, so AI, let's see, move and self and we're going to say player so we want it to so theoretically what we could do is we could say okay choose a move for x or choose a move for o um, so we're going to basically do o in our uh, trial here but we could use it as a more general function so we got to think about now is how will we play the game so what what would our moves be so uh, generally speaking uh, you know one of the common moves is to choose the center square okay the center cell so what I might say is, so if the center is open, choose that. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to say if self.cells, the center is number five, if it equals a space, so it's available. Okay. Now this is where it's going to get interesting, is we're going to use this function, update cell, cell number player. So I'm going to say up self dot update cell and it's going to be five player so we're going to tell it player is going to x or o so if self dot cells five is available then we're going to choose that okay so let's let's test this and so what I'm going to do down here is where o choice okay is I'm going to just comment that out for now and I'm going to say board dot ai move and it's going to be oh okay so I'm going to back up to here so we got our AI move we're telling it's player O and player O is going to check if cell 5 is available if it is it's going to update the cell using the same function that we used before so cell number is 5 because it's the center and the player is O Okay, so you can see how, because we built these methods, we can use them inside of other methods to make the code work really, really efficiently. So let's try that and see what happens. Okay, so now X cannot choose the center. Oops, O choice is not defined, okay. So board update cell choice, oh, okay, so I need to hide that as well. Line 124. So since we're already updating the cell uh, inside our, where's that at? So we're updating the cell here, we don't need to do it out here anymore. We could, we could return it and do all kinds of stuff, but we're not gonna do it that way. So, so let's run that, see what happens. So one. Okay, so it worked. Okay, now, of course, it's always going to choose five because that's all we've programmed into it. Okay. So that's basically kind of how we're going to do that. Um, is we're basically going to uh, make some different ideas, some different uh, things in here. So you got to think about what what are the possible situations for the AI to move. So you know, so AI can win. So AI, let's see, uh, blocks, and so choose random. At the end, you want to have probably a choose random, uh, just in case. So what you might do here is, mm, to make sure it chooses something, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for, say I in range, and I'm going to say 1 to 10. 
So we want one to nine actually. If self dot cells i equals space. I'm just gonna copy this because So that will find, it'll start with one, so up here. If it's empty, it'll choose that. Two, it'll choose that. Three, it'll choose that. Four, it'll choose that. Five, it'll choose that. Six, it'll choose that. Seven, it'll choose that, et cetera, et cetera. So this way, at least, we'll get some kind of uh, gameplay. So let's try that. So x is going to go to the center square. So o is going to one, because that's the first one that's available. So x is going to do, if I do eight, wow, it looks like it's really blocking. I can go to nine. I'm sorry, I go to seven. Okay, it says here O wins because what it actually did is it chose uh, this spot. But we don't see it. Okay, so we need to make sure that after O chooses, we need to make sure refresh screen is in there. So let's try that one more time. So x is going to go 5, x will go 8, x will go 7, and O wins. Okay, so you can see how that worked. So your job uh, is to try to come up with a winning strategy for your AI. So you have to look for places where you can win, you have to look for places where the other player would win. Um, so that's a bit of a challenge. And I'll give you a hint on that one. So player, so if the player equals x, then the enemy equals o. That makes sense. If the player equals o, the enemy equals. Now we can make this code a lot, a lot shorter, a little bit more compact, but this makes it a little bit more clearer. So if I send O, so the enemy is X. Okay. So if you're looking to block, you would try to see if the enemy has a possibility of winning. Okay. And that should hopefully get you started, uh, at least on making a simple AI for your game. So you got to think about you know, what your strategy is. What, what types of things are you looking for? Uh, what opportunities are you looking for? So give that a shot.